if you wanted to kick out something like a play blast or a hardware preview or what it's called in Houdini is a flip book, um, you can do that right here. It's really easy. It's this little thing that looks like a, a flip book and you just hold down your mouse on there and it says flip book with new settings. And here it will pop up a, a little dialog box. You can choose when your start and end frames are. In our case, we're only doing uh, animation over the first 72 frames. So I'll just put in, instead of this token RF end, which is going to grab frame 240 from the end here, um, I'm gonna just put in frame 72 to kind of just, um, you know, make that be uh, frame 72, uh, only 72 frames long. And then if we go to our flipbook, you can see that we've got um, different, we can add different gamma, stuff like that, effects, we can add motion blur if we want, um, and we can also change the size of the uh, resolution of the flipbook. But basically, if you uh, just click start here, it will open up a little program called mplay in just a second, and then start rendering out the flipbook animation to mplay. And that's this window right here. You can see that it's building up our uh, frame list like so. And then when it gets to frame 72, it stops. And then you can get real-time playback on that like so. Now, if you want to save this, um, I find that it's best to have FFmpeg installed. If you do have FFmpeg installed, there are... Um, there are instructional videos on the internet as to how to do that, but in our case, under if you do have FFmpeg installed, the best way to export a hardware preview from Houdini is to use, uh, you know, from mPlay is to use the FFmpeg MP4 option right here. This opens up a little dialog box. You can just save your uh, hardware preview, you know, to a location next to your hip, and we'll just call this Flipbook One or something. Flipbook1.mp4, you can set your resolution, uh, frame range, all that stuff, and click save. You can see it's giving you a little dialog here, saying it's exporting images, and you should get a nice dialog box in a second that says it's been successfully saved to so and such, such and such, blah, blah, blah place. And now if I go and uh, open up my project folder and go to the lesson file, you can see that I've got this flipbook here that we have just uh, exported out of Houdini. Nice.